Hi, you guys. So I'm back. Um, let's see. What have I done? I have um, put these little coins on um, so that they'll hang like that with some crochet thread yarn. Uh, and I like them quite a bit. And I just, um, and then I also did, I have a gold pen, where is it, right here? Uh, Deco Color Premium Prime Primo. Anyways, it's this gold pen here. Sorry. Just trying to show you, you know, in case you were wondering. Anyways, I just went over a few spots that I wanted some more gold. Um, mostly on the front and the corners here. And so I got all my um, signatures ready. And each signature has like an outer piece of wallpaper. So I just have wallpaper for the outer part and I have five signatures that are going to go and there's about six or seven pages in each signature. So it's going to be a big one. I, I don't know yet. I'm not sure. I may take one out. I may take one out. I don't know yet. Um, but it fits in there really nice. Like I have lots of room and I have lots of room to close it so far. As long as I don't embellish it too heavily, I think it will be okay. But that's why I'm thinking I may take one signature out. And then <clears throat> I debated on doing just elastic to hold the signatures in. But... I think what I finally come up with is I don't want to poke, I don't want to see the, the, um, stitching through the spine. So I think what I'm going to do is a hidden spine, maybe even float, even floating, a uh, floating spine. I don't know, but I thought we would work on that. So I have some fabric here. I think I'm going to use this. Let me check and see if I, I know I have some muslin somewhere and see if I might prefer that instead. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the muslin here. Uh, I'm just going to set this stuff aside for right now. And I am going to put my signatures aside for a minute. And see what's, I think this is two inches. And I have a piece of file folder here. I think what I'm gonna do so I like to make sure that my the piece I'm gonna stick my signatures are in are sturdy so I think I might double this over and glue it um, and then cut my my um, pieces out it's just easier for me that way so I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, glue stick and the Aileen's. Hope you guys are doing well. So I had uh, yesterday off and I I did a couple videos, but other than that, it was just one of those days where I just wanted to stay in my pajamas and create and craft and uh, just do my own thing. <laughs> and I enjoyed it very much. I enjoyed it very much. So I'm just going to let me move the cover out of the way so that's not in the way. Still not sure where my bone folder is. <laughs> I haven't really looked hard for it, so it's probably not that far away. 
that. I'm just going to use my scissors to um, press that glue in really good. And then we'll measure the, my two inches that, I, that I'll need. And I'm just going to use my paper trimmer for that. So let me grab that. So this journal is uh, a different size than I normally do. It's, uh, I think it's six or six and a half. Hold on, let me see. Oh, it's seven. It's seven inches tall and like four and not quite a quarter. Four, um, yes, four and an eighth wide. So it's, it's different. It's, it's a lot shorter than what I usually do. So I think it's going to be fun to play with and to decorate and all that stuff. So I'll just have to do, um, my pockets and stuff, different sizes. So, all right, let's see, uh, two inches. Let me double check and make sure that that is two inches. I'm going to do a little under two inches so it will fit in that space nicely. Just a hair under two inches. Just a hair. Okay, so I think I got that straight. I hope I have that straight. Actually, I'm going to come down this way where I can put it nice and straight. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then, so I got that part. Let's see, make sure that it fits inside there nicely. Yes, it does. Yep, it fits in there nicely, It's and it can bend with ease. So then I'm going to do my 7 inches. So I'm just going to take, straighten this out a little bit. Like that. And then put this at seven inches. There we go. That's going to be our spine piece. And I'm going to cover that with fabric, but I'm going to make the fabric bigger so that I can attach it to the covers, the front cover and the back cover of the journal. So. All right, where did I put my fabric? <laughs> do I want to use this? It's a little thicker. I think I do. I think I'm going to use this yellow. So I just want to make sure that... Okay, so one, two, three, four. Like four and a half inches, I think, will will be enough. And then I want this um, with the, the frayed edges. So I'm going to do that. And then I want it peeking out just a little bit. I can always trim it down if I need to. Okay, so there's, there's my piece, and I'm going to put this like this, and try to get it as straight as I possibly can. I mean, it's not a crime if I don't, I'm not going to, I'm not going to cry if I 
if I don't get it perfectly straight. So I should use that stuff that I got in the cover. He's freaking out on me. It's a little bit annoying, but oh, it's so thick too. Do you guys have any craft supplies that annoy you? <laughs> but you gotta use? Right now, it's my glue. <laughs> okay, so that's a good coat on there. I'm just gonna turn it around and try to center it. Put it straight on my grid here and just try to center it. Wait a minute, let me. Okay. Oh, it could move up a little bit, just a little. All right, so then what do I want to do next? I'm gonna go take care of this paintbrush. I'll be right back. Okay, so I jumped ahead a little bit. Um, I just wanna give this time to dry nicely before I start sewing things into it and stuff. But I, I also, in this video, I'd like to work on the signatures and what I mean, what I'd like to work on is I have some pages in here that are folded up. Like this page here. And do I have another one in this signature? No, nope, just that one. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to make it so that it will flip down. I couldn't. I couldn't get rid of the whole page, so I just folded it up. Wait, do I have another one here? Okay, just making sure. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this out the long way, and I'm just gonna take off at an angle, kind of. Go at an angle, right at that fold line, so that when this is sewn in, and it has <clears throat> the other papers in it, like this, it will fold up. And you can fold it down and color if you want or do whatever, you know, it'll be easily accessible that way. Okay, see, you see what I mean? <laughs> so I have a few pages like that in in the signatures and I just want to go through and do that so here's one I'm just going to do the same thing so that it can be folded down and back up And then I have, I don't know if I have another one in here. I'm just going to double check. Okay, we're good with that one. And it's some of the pages I ripped, a lot of the pages I ripped. <laughs> and um, some are cut. So, and it's going to be a very eclectic. I love doing eclectic journals. Okay. Let's see, what do we got in here? Let's see if we have one in here. Yes, we do, right here. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, so we got a couple. Okay, so where this is in the middle, should I do that? 
Yes, I should. Or when I sew it in, I can open this up and sew it in and then fold this back up. So I can do that with that one. But this one has a fold like this, like you would. And I'm just thinking about gluing it so that it could be a tuck there and a tuck there. So I think that one actually will be okay too. Okay, so those ones are okay. All right. And I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to ink around all my edges or not. <laughs> but I better hurry up and make that decision, huh? Okay, let's see. This one. Do I want to make this one so that it can fold down? Or leave it up like that? And then just maybe sew the pocket down. Hmm. I think I'll leave it. And then what do we got here? We have another one. Oh, I already I did this one. So this one can be folded out and journaled on and then tucked back up. And then this one's in the middle, so then I could just, when I go to sew it in, pull that flap down, sew it in, put that flap back up. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. Okay, so what do I want to do now? Before I sew these in to the book, I think what I want to do, what do I want to do? Well, instead of uh, holding you guys up, I will decide and I'll come back, okay? Okay, so for this signature, for this page here, I am going to, I don't know whether I want to use fabric or um, lace or both, but... I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and sew that on, I think. I think I like just the lace. So I'll sew that onto that folded piece because this will come out. I'll sew that on first, so I'll have to open it out like this and sew that on. And then... I will sew along the sides, probably right from the top to the bottom. Okay, so I'll go do that and I'll come back. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And it will be a pocket here and a little tuck pocket in there. So you'll have a little spot to tuck something up in there. So I have a couple pages like that. I'm going to do them. And I don't know if I'm going to leave my threads or not. But uh... Oh, my stomach's growling. <laughs> I must be hungry. So I'm just going to set that up like that. And then this one folds like this. So... I want to use a different lace. Get some of this. Okay. And I'm going to do the same exact thing. Sew that along there and then sew down my sides. Okay, so there's that side. With our tuck and our pocket. So I'm just going to do that to all the rest and I'll come back. Okay, you guys. So um, I got that all done. So what I think I'm going to do next before I sew them in, um, I'm not going to make you watch me do this though. I am going to, I want to do some stenciling on like the white 
white parts. Um, not maybe not all, but most. I would like to do some stenciling, so uh, I'm gonna do that, and then after that, uh, stamping a, f a little, a little bit of stamping, just random uh, stamping here and there. I didn't put anything on these. Like I did the other ones, I didn't sew any lace or anything, but I may, I don't know yet. Um, so I'm just kind of showing you the variety of papers I have in here. Some of this was like packaging paper and uh, the wallpaper and some, some scrapbook paper that was coffee stained and uh, I've some pages out of a plastic canvas so and I may do some more sewing and like tabs on on the sides of some pages so yeah I'm gonna leave you guys there and I will come back um, when I get ready to do the tabs after I get done the stenciling and the inking so uh, we'll do the tabs together and then hopefully we'll have time to uh, sew the signature into the floating spine and um, I may put something along there too and uh, get it into the cover. Okay. Alrighty, ladies. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will see you on the next video. Bye.